When we talk about the weight and balance of an aircraft, we're referring to two things, the aircraft's total weight and the location of the center of gravity on its longitudinal axis. The center of gravity, also called the CG, is the point at which the aircraft would not tip over if balanced on top of a fulcrum. To do calculations for the center of gravity, we have to put numbers on the longitudinal axis and decide where the zero point is going to be. For Cessna 172s and a lot of other aircraft, the zero point, also referred to as the datum, is placed near the aircraft firewall, and then we measure away from it in inches. Typically, the empty CG of a Cessna 172 is about 40 inches aft, or closer to the tail, than the datum. Each place you can put things in an airplane is called a station, and each station has a distance, often referred to as an arm, measured in inches. The oil is the only station that's in front of the datum, so it gets assigned an arm of negative 13.3. The two front seats are 37 inches behind the datum, so they get assigned an arm of positive 37. Working back, the fuel's at 47.8 inches, the back seat's at 73, the main baggage area at 95, and the smaller extended baggage area at 123. Notice that the front seats and fuel tanks are positioned close to the aircraft's empty CG. This is nice because it means that the weight of the pilot and co-pilot, and also the amount of remaining fuel, don't significantly impact the airplane's CG and associated handling characteristics. Weights loaded far away from the CG move it more significantly than weights loaded closer. This idea is captured analytically with the concept of a moment. A load's moment is the weight at that station times the associated arm, and the center of gravity is the sum of all moments divided by the total weight. The aircraft itself also has a moment, which is just the weight of the aircraft multiplied by its CG. This information can be found in the weight and balance document that's required to be kept in each aircraft. Consider a simple example where the aircraft weighs 1,500 pounds and the CG is exactly 40 inches. This means the aircraft has a moment of 60,000 inch-pounds. If a 100-pound weight were loaded at a station that had an arm of 50 inches, the new CG would be 40.6. If we added another 100-pound weight at the 30-inch station, that would move the CG back to 40. Notice that we could also add a 200-pound weight at the 35-inch station and have the same effect. When we compute the weight and balance for an aircraft, we often skip the last step of dividing by the aircraft weight to compute the CG and just work with the loaded aircraft's moment. This is because handheld calculators weren't exactly commonplace when these aircraft were produced, and doing that last long division step manually was both error-prone and unnecessary. It's pretty common for aircraft loading charts to be presented with loaded aircraft moment, or in this case moment divided by a thousand, on the x-axis, and weight on the y-axis. To determine if our loading falls within limits, we look at the intersection between the aircraft's weight and the moment. In our case, we're just barely inside the moment envelope for utility category operations.